A Shalom Makim. I want to say call her law, which is to say all praises to Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai, by Shim Dash for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And there's no God beside them. Double honor to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit and citation to the elect on the most I've given ears to hear. And today's lesson is going to go into how uh, death is now being sold in stores. You know, now on top of uh, <laughs> the wine and spirits, you know, which is nothing wrong with drinking some Yayan or some uh, Kazakh. Kazakh Shaita, I believe that's how you say it. Strong drink. You know, which, um, you know, this, this world promotes... Well, yeah, it's not wrong with drinking some Kazakh Shaita or some Yayan, you know. Um, however, you know, in this world, with all the chemicals and bullshit putting, put in it, you know, it's not wise to overindulge in it. Um, on top of that, you know, which that's known as spirits, especially the strong drink. Hell, as a matter of fact, in certain um, neighborhoods, they don't even... Um, sell strong drink like they'll sell beer or whatever but they don't sell strong drink after a certain hour because they know that you know it makes people go cuckoo for cocoa puffs but now on top of that you know you have something known as liquid death which I first heard of this I was watching a brother Aria Kayal and um, he had did a lesson a few months back I want to say maybe four or five months back going into how uh this drink called liquid death is more than just uh, a name. You know, it actually has death in the drink. When you look it up, you know, you could just look on TikTok. <laughs> One of my favorite spots to get information, little quick hits. But, um, you know, when you look it up, it's locked here. When you look it up, you know, there's actually demons put on... You could just look up liquid death and witchcraft. This water brand, Liquid Death, is literally putting demons inside their water. Their slogan is literally demon infused, 100% real demons. Watch this. A real witch, summoning demons and trapping them inside cans of water. Inside this very warehouse sits the entire inventory of Liquid Death Mountain Water. Each can is about to be infused with real demons. By a real witch. A lot of what I practice can be considered traditional witchcraft. What you're about to witness is very real, very dangerous, and in my opinion, a terrible idea. We enter into the dark half of the year. Now is the time of the dead. All right, I might have played all that shit, but you know. You see, uh, what we dealing with here? You know, this place is known as the Valley of the Shadow of Death in Psalms 23, as well as Job 10. All right. And, um, this is where we're at now, where death is being sold in the stores. Right? It's right in your face. Liquid death. Which all these drinks, as you see, I got in a picture, you know, because basically, um, you know, I was, you know, just, just, uh, moving and grooving, you know, doing my thing or whatever. And, you know, I decided to go get a, some tea, some hot chocolate rather, and some water. And, you know, I went to go get some water and I seen this. I'm like, you know what? Let me take a picture of it. And then even on my way to going there, you know, I seen a smoke shop, which that's, and nowadays it's pretty common too with smoke shops, you know, but I just going to show you the debauchery, the level of death. But the level of wickedness that this world has come to in this day and age. You know, the scriptures wasn't lying when it says, In the last days, perilous times shall come. Men shall be lovers of themselves. Uh, let's just grab it. You know, because the Lord tells us the end result, but now we see the cause of it. All right? From the GMOs to the chemicals to the, you know what I'm saying, the, you know, 
the 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 jump shots he be having people take. You know, but this is Second Timothy's three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous, which meaning dangerous times shall come. And we're in the dangerous times. All right. Where you have people just offering their own children and not having a care in the world about it. You know, a woman offering her own kids, you know, chopping them off, put them in freezing, all types of craziness and not having to care about it is because of things like liquid death, you know, and these uh, vaccinations that he having people take. But men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. You know, and um, hey, our elders over here at Great Millstone, they encourage us to pray when you get into the car at all times of the day, pray, you know, because it's death out here on the road right now. All right, road rage demons, you know, brothers see it when they at Kent, you know, they drinking these, uh, you know, monster energy drinks, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, probably late, whatever, you know, um, People losing their jobs. They're just losing it. And on top of them losing it, you know, they're drinking this, uh, or they're putting death within their bodies, man. Drinking on dead spirits. You know, this place is a very, 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 very vile place, man. Very vile place. And this is why we need Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai to get us out of here. Now, um, if you look up a little bit of information about this company called Liquid Death, Right. This is a Forbes uh, article that came out the earlier, the beginning, pretty much the beginning of this year. Right. Where it says. um, I just jump straight to the point. All right. Because at a, at a point in time, this place was, you know, this company was losing a lot of money. But, you know, the CEO, Mike Cesario, he had a plan to, um, you know, get things up and running. You know, for them to be more profitable. You know, mind you, I'm me not knowing, you know, this this about that company too much, but me just observing, you know, seeing this drink in stores, like from the time I saw the brother Ariya Kayal's video, which is like four or five months ago, so now I'm actually seeing it more often. All right. Now, of course, you know, I saw the brother's video, so I'm more, I'm more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm more observant of it, whereas before I might not have been observant of it, but this, a drink that's called liquid death is kind of hard to miss. <laughs> Nevertheless, you know, I never forgot that brother's video. And um, to read into this article, you know, it's so like it for the long rent. But uh, to read into this article, it says, At a board meeting at the beginning of the year, Liquid Death CEO Mike Cesario showed up with a plan. His Buzzy Water brand was a top Amazon seller and was growing quickly, but costs were out of control and likely to doom the business. His solution moved production to a series of contract factories around the U.S. and create new trucking routes to get the cans to as many stores and concert venues as possible. The investors were shocked. Only a few months prior, they had put up more money, a total of $70 million, at a valuation of $700 million to help fix the problem. But they didn't think he would have a plan so quickly. Right? Um, let me see. Right, so that's pretty much it. Actually, the point I pretty much wanted to grab was uh, it says uh, pretty much, you know, one of their uh ways of, you know, making sure the business would grow was to get these cans. Mind you, in the U.S., it says around the U.S. and create new trucking routes to get the cans to as many stores and concert venues as possible. You know, so, um, hey, you know, it, it's no coincidence as this is being, again, the valley of the shadow of death. All right. Death is everywhere. And it's more, it's, it's, it's heavier now, more so than ever. 
we in the spirit can feel it. You know, which again is my why we should be, you know, ask praying for protection more so in these last days. But yeah, how about Shimi Awashai? He called this place, it has many names, one being the sinful kingdom. And we see why. Alright. So let me go um Job 10 and 23, uh, 22, it's like it, 21. Before I go whence, I shall not return even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. All right, this is the land of darkness and this is the shadow of death. A land of darkness as darkness itself and of the shadow of death without any order and where the light is as darkness. All right, and when you look at America, a little fun fact is that America is actually um, the place that, uh, you know, uh, participates in the most child trafficking. You know, so this place, man, it's whew, I'm getting nauseous just thinking about this fucking place, man. You know, this place got to be this this place, you know, what the scriptures speak about, uh. What's that scripture long? I think that's in Baruch 4. Let's see. My could I believe. Who? Yes, sir. Baruch 4 and 35. But fire shall come upon her from the everlasting now. You know, fire should come upon this place from the Heavenly Father. This is place, like I said, it has many names. One being the virgin daughter of Babylon. All right. The whore that sitteth upon many waters. The daughter of harlots. You know, this place is, is very lively and wickedness. You know, literally in witchcraft and, and, and sorceries and, you know, with the pharmacia. You know, that's a huge business. You know, the, uh, the, the pharmacy. The drug, you know, whereas food is a drug in this place. Hey, when you look at it, which is the stuff you can also look up yourself. A lot of the foods that's allowed here is banned in Europe. Why? Because this is the valley of the shadow of death. All right. This is this place is death. All right. You could be the healthiest person, but you're still eating death because it's grown in America. It says. And as you see, you know, in that article, he spoke about the guy speaking about how he's not only going to plan on producing here, but over in Europe, too. All right. What scriptures say she selleth nations and her, her witchcraft. But. um, This is Baruch 4 and I'm going to start at 34. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude and the pride shall be turned into mourning. Right. And this place is. Uh. Boast itself, you know, and um, this place boasts itself in having great technology, you know, one of the greatest places on earth. Meanwhile, it only has that because of the from the from the slaughter of the Lord's people. All right, from the heinous crimes that this place did to the Lord's people, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. For fire shall come upon her from everlasting. All right, because as I mentioned before, one of the one of the names of this place is called the daughter of harlots. And does not the scriptures say that thou shalt not suffer a witch to live in the book of Exodus 20. All right. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting. All right. The ancient of days long to endure. So the Lord is seeing this shit, man. And he's longing, you know, he's suffering. He's having patience to destroy this place. We know the scriptures say not one jot nor tittle shall fall. So all to all come to pass. All right. Esau got a um he has a boundary. He's gotta, you know, force this MOTB upon us. All right. Before hey, World War Three has to pop off. What that has to happen first. MOTB, World War Three, in the midst of World War Three, Jacob's trouble. You know, a time that the world has never before seen. And then the Lord. Is going to come back. He's going to send his son in his name to come back with those nuclear missiles. And she shall be inhabited of devils for a long time. 
you know, which is America. That's how we know this is talking about America, because we go into Revelation, I think, 18, where it speaks about how the satires in um, Isaiah 34 shall inhabit this place, Babylon. All right, this place is on its way out, and we see why. You know, you keep poking at, you know, you keep, um, and the old saying goes, you keep poking at somebody, you know, no matter how uh, patient they are, <laughs> eventually they're going to strike back. All right. And um, that's th this place is 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 on its way out. All right, and this is just another article proving that to be so. This is just another article, or another video, you know, and us complaining to you how about Shinya was shot. Get the, get us the fuck out of here, man, for real. Right, and the world, the Lord sees this place as despicable. Let's grab that. Psalms 11 verse 5. Let me start at verse 4. The Lord is in his holy temple. When you see Lord as all caps, that's the ancient of days. That's Yahweh. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. Right? The Lord is always watching through his angels. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. Upon the wicked, the wicked, the sinful kingdom, he shall rain snares and brimstone, nuclear missiles, and in horrible tempest, this shall be the portion of their cup. So with that, citations to the elect.